Lighting's are one of the most essential piece of equipment for any kind of videos. Let that be this kind where I'm directly talking to the camera or the one where I'm building a project on a table. And not only for videos, for photography as well, lighting plays a really important role. So when I went to the Amazon for buying some, looking at the price, they were really expensive and they do not cost that much to build one. So in this video, let me show you my DIY solution to build one. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how I made my very own DIY LED light panel for only 25 US dollars per panel. So without any more further ado, let's build it. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They are known for high quality PCB prototype manufacturing. You can order 2 to 6 layer PCB from their website. To see production in progress, you just have to click one button. And build time is only 24 hours for 2 layer PCB. Check them out, link is in the video description. Before building the light panel, we need to figure out what kind of LEDs we are going to use. Because there exist quite a lot of LEDs. Like this 5mm THT LED, SMD LEDs, or an LED strip. I don't recommend using THT LEDs because they are just way too big. And using such LED strip is also not really a good idea because over the time these LEDs heat up and produce heat which needs to be dissipated and the glue underneath them fails over the time. These issues can be simply solved by soldering the LED on a PCB since PCB is made from copper which naturally acts as a heat sink and also LEDs are soldered so we don't have to glue anything. And speaking about which LEDs to use then I will recommend using this 5630 SMD LEDs because they are cheap and efficient. I got mine from lcsc.com. Once I had the LEDs I measured its dimension and decided to have a spacing of 10mm between each LED. Also 3 LEDs will be connected in series with a current limiting resistor of 270 ohms. And finally each panel will have two different sets of LEDs. One with the warm white color and the other with cool white color. Keeping these things in my mind, I designed this PCB with a total of 150 LEDs. After which I exported the Gerber file and ordered my PCBs through jlcpcb.com. While ordering your PCB, I will recommend using white color solder mask because it will reflect light but I forgot to do it. Anyways, once I had my PCB, I checked it and started the soldering process, starting with applying the soldering paste. Once done, I placed all the LEDs on the soldering paste. And finally soldered them using a hot air gun. Once that was complete, I used my soldering iron and soldered the 270 ohm resistors. After which I used my power supply and tested the LEDs and as you can see, both the LEDs work flawlessly. Now there are quite a lot of things left with this panel, such as building case for it and also adding dimming functionality which will be a long topic. So let's hold this project over here and wait for the next part which will be available by next week. Until then, don't forget to like this video, 
share this video with your friends and comment down if you have any suggestion or a project idea and i will see you guys in the next one